Hello, I'm ELH, and today I'm bringing you the fifth of ten quick overviews of each playbook currently available for the Avatar Legends tabletop role-playing system by Magpie Games. We're continuing with the Icon, a chosen figure of an ancient tradition expected to live up to their role. The Icon playbook is perfect for those wishing to play a character that has a role that both children and adults envy, while being torn between your heart and your duty. The Icon begins play with a creativity of zero, a focus of plus one, a harmony of plus one, and a passion of minus one. The Icon's principles are role and freedom. Role represents the Icon's commitment to, and belief in, the role that has been pushed upon them. An icon with high role views their identity and their role as one and the same, seeing the world as someone who is fulfilling a duty first and foremost. Freedom, by contrast, signifies the icon's desire to be free to make their own choices, to act as they wish, and to just have fun. An icon with high freedom often avoids their role and the duties that come with it, sometimes with dire consequences. The Icon's moment of balance requires finding an equilibrium by remaking their role and defining it in their own way. They gain a new understanding of their burdens that forges a new way forward for everyone involved. The Icon's feature is Burden and Tradition. This feature requires the Icon to select three responsibilities and three prohibitions from those listed on page 184. When the Icon lives up to their role's burden and tradition, despite opposition or danger, they shift their balance towards roll instead of marking fatigue. They also clear fatigue equal to their roll, minimum of zero. If an icon directly breaks a prohibition, they mark a condition, shift their balance twice towards freedom, and mark growth. Furthermore, the icon is given two new questions at the end of each session alongside the standard growth questions. If they upheld a responsibility, the icon shifts their balance towards roll and clears a condition. If they broke a prohibition, the icon shifts their balance towards freedom and underlines the prohibition they broke. If the prohibition is already underlined, then it is crossed out. And once crossed out, there is no further meaning when breaking that prohibition. The icon has access to the following moves. Use their momentum allows the icon to mark fatigue and roll with focus instead of passion when advancing and attacking against a large or powerful foe. Doing so also grants prepared, page 153, and allows the icon to use the retaliate technique as if it were an advance in attack technique. Bonzu Pippin Petal Opsicopolis the third is more than a mouthful. When tricking an NPC by wearing a silly disguise or faking an identity, the icon can mark insecure to treat the role as if it was a 12 plus. If insecure is already marked, they mark two fatigue instead. Concentration is fairly simple. It adds plus one focus up to a maximum of plus three. Otter Penguins, Unagi, and Hot Springs permits the Icon to roll with harmony when visiting a new inhabited location they might know about. On a 10+, the Icon can ask two questions below, and on a 7 to 9, they can ask one. The questions are, what is the best local pastime? What interesting locations are nearby? Who is the most famous person here? What special tradition is prized by the locals? What is the most interesting legend that locals recount about this place? When you interact with one of these answers, you clear one fatigue or mark growth. On a miss, the icon tells the GM what they were expecting, then the GM explains how things are quite different. Yip Yip grants the icon an animal companion that is large enough to ride. After naming them, the icon can pick a sky bison, a polar bear dog, an eel hound, a cat gator, an elephant mandrel, a gemsbok bull, a shearshoe, a komodo rhino, a saber tooth moose lion, a flying boar, a walrus yak, or a flying fishopotamus. When fighting alongside their animal companion, the icon can mark one fatigue to become favored, page 152, for an exchange. If something hurts their animal companion, then the icon marks a condition. Finally, when the icon and their friends travel via their animal companion, everyone involved clears all fatigue. The icon's advanced technique is Wall of Perfection. This defend and maneuver technique has the icon creating a perfect wall of defense around themselves and any allies within reach. They can then mark one fatigue to block a single attack directed towards the wall or to keep an enemy back when they try to come through the wall, but only if the wall could break that kind of attack. The icon's growth question is, did you accomplish a feat worthy of your burden and tradition? This keeps the icon focused on their role and building upon its foundation, 
even if it doesn't adhere to any of their selected prohibition or responsibilities. And that's the icon in a nutshell. If you liked this quick overview of the playbook, drop a like and a comment below. You'll also want to subscribe and hit that bell if you want to be notified when the next playbook video releases. Thanks for watching! And if you want to see Avatar Legends in actions, I recommend checking out my Rise of the Dark Avatar game linked below.